so lot has happened uh, in the last few days few weeks and uh, i believe almost every single person is a bit troubled in these times and uh, here i would be primarily focusing on your preparation your examination uh but before before i start talking about the examination i just want to you know tell you that uh, let's not just look at the current situation from from the viewpoint of exam only let us try to understand what is happening around us to get a better grab on uh, what is happening and why is it happening so uh, i have received many messages many uh, comments also and primarily uh, i have written down four things that i want to talk about the first issue is uh, probably troubling you the most it is about the neat examination there are multiple rumors floating around one of them is that the neat examination may get preponed this is one of the important things that is bugging you guys and then there is this news that in fact even i posted it today that supreme court has asked the government to consider uh, giving incentive in the form of extra marks to those students who work in the covid wards or who who work during these times and uh, not uh, i mean it was totally expected that uh, it it would freak out a good number of students people are saying that uh, many many students might get fake certificates they might not work and still get the certificate there would be undue advantages should we sit at homes or study or should we go to the hospital and work what if the government makes it mandatory all all these things are happening and uh, uh, from from the tone of your messages i can sense that you are quite angry you are quite frustrated you are quite distressed and it's understandable too uh, when it comes to entrance examination entrance examinations are already very tough right it, it is very difficult to leave everything aside and just study for 8 hours 10 hours 12 hours a day for months after months weeks after weeks and to add to that these uncertainties is is frankly uh, very unfortunate but now 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 while i have said that that it's very unfortunate that these things are happening and you know there is so much uncertainty in the air uh, now now if we discuss about the bigger picture what is it that has happened in last one year that can be called as fair or certain we are saying that everything that is happening with us is unfair but tell me one good thing that can be called as fair that has happened in the last one year we here are concerned about the examination we here are concerned whether the examination will happen or will get postponed or will get proponed at this point of time i think we should consider ourselves lucky that i am sitting here and talking to you and you guys are sitting at your houses and you are able to listen to me uh, without either of us worrying about getting an oxygen cylinder or a bed or an icu uh, or a ventilator so so while while we you know think about our problems let's let's look at the bigger picture also uh, these things are not happening because government wants to trouble you or nmc wants to trouble you or some coaching institute is creating some kind of conspiracy no none of that is true things are unfolding at such a great speed and things are unfolding in in such uncertain ways that nobody knows what is going to happen now government did not want to postpone an examination but there was that fear of a spread of infection and you guys are rightly pointing it out that uh, on on one hand the government is afraid that the students would get infected and on the other hand government is asking students to come and join the hospitals fair point that is true but the reason is on one hand government is thinking of saving the students but on the other hand it, it wants the doctors so i am not here to defend the government i am myself i keep on you know criticizing the government for so many things but we will have to understand from the other other person's point of view too we have to be a bit empathetic about what is happening so why i am saying this if if you try to understand the other person's view point you will become less bitter you will become less angry you will become less resentful that is what my primary aim is because when when you get so angry when you get so distressed when you get so frustrated you are not harming anybody else but yourself and i am not trying to minimize it i am not trying to trivialize it i am not saying that it doesn't matter i understand entrance examination is extremely important we who have been in this field for so many years who knows us who knows it better than us that you know a student gives his uh, heart and soul for the examination and when it gets postponed again and again I, we can understand how it feels but these are unprecedented times but certain things are there which are unlikely to happen i i have very strong doubt about this news of preponement of examination government machineries do not work like that administration does not work like that they cannot you know suddenly i mean uh, the the gadget that was released was very clear that examination will happen after 31st of august and they would give at least one month notice 
uh, backtracking from that does not make much sense. So I don't think the examination will ever get prepawned. And while I'm saying this, I, I must confess that I'm, I'm not no fortune teller. Anything may happen, but it's very unlikely to happen. So if you are uh, losing your sleep over the prepawnment of the examination, uh, I think please get comfortable. That is very unlikely. Uh, secondly, this news about the incentives, uh, getting extra marks uh, if, if you join a duty and, and then the, the questions around it, uh, that uh, what about those who do not get into a COVID hospital? What about those who have been working in the past and who wanted to study now? So these are all speculations. The Supreme Court has suggested something. The government uh, in its notification last time that I read was not talking about increasing marks or giving extra marks, they were thinking about giving some kind of preference in the government duties or government jobs. So it is an emerging situation, we do not know about it and uh, there is no point uh, uh, getting too anxious about it. This is something that is beyond our control, we just have to wait and watch. Now guys, uh, let's talk about the second thing which is equally uh, troubling. Uh, when, when we are preparing for an examination, we want that we know what we are preparing for. It is very important to have a sense of purpose. It is very important to have a date uh, in our mind so that we can prepare accordingly, we can plan accordingly. Now that date has been taken away from you and it is very frustrating. I, I feel for you guys, I, I can totally empathize with you guys that you must be having loads of frustrations. The cycle that you are getting sucked into is something of this sort. You, you know that examination has been postponed and you do not know the date. You are angry about it, you are frustrated about it, you feel bad about it, you talk about it with one of your friends, one of your colleagues who is equally frustrated and angry about it. Now the anger of both of you gets kind of combined and also gets you know magnified, exaggerated. And then what do you do? You, you, you know, displace it on everyone. You say the government is not working properly, you say that the NMC is not working properly, you are angry at teachers also. I, I read multiple messages where, where students are saying that coaching institutes are making money, teachers are making money, probably they are. And But but the gist is that you are angry at everyone. And what, what does that lead to? It does not really make any difference to the government or the uh, NMC or the teachers. At the end of the day, you are you are troubling yourself. You are increasing your frustration. You are magnifying your frustration. And my biggest worry is uh, your your frustration will get you know displaced onto the study material. Every time you look at your book, every time you look at that uh, tablet or that phone on which you have been watching videos, you would immediately have that anger and resentment uh, that that would come inside you, and that would stop you from studying. That is the biggest problem. So we have two options. We can crib about it as much as we can. We can crib about it as much as you want. We can, you know, get very angry. We can write everything on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. We can, you know, talk amongst each other and, and say all mean things and make the problem worse for ourselves. Or we can also do another thing. Whenever we have these thoughts that what, what the hell is going on, whenever we have these thoughts that this is so unfair, whenever we get angry and resentful, we can, you know, just take a deep breath and tell ourselves that okay that thought is here again that anger is here again that resentment is here again i see it i observe it but i am not going to react just just take the reaction part away from all the emotions and thoughts that you are having and things would become much easier for you so the next time you feel like you know uh, saying a slur or, or saying a cuss word to to somebody in the government or an mc or the teachers just tell yourself that okay, I'm angry, I'm frustrated, I'm I'm probably uh, in in not a good space, uh, and probably there's reason for that. But let me not make it worse by by repeating the same thing again and again, and by discussing the same thing again and again. That will make things easier for you. And we we can't do much about it. We can't do much about it. And you know there's a there's a good saying that if if you are if you are stuck in a storm. If you're, if you're in sea and you know, big waves are coming and you can't find a way out, you, you cannot stop those waves but you can learn to surf. Or in other words, you cannot uh, get out of the trouble but you can accept it and you know be okay with it. Okay, this is happening, it is unfortunate but let it be. At, at least you would not multiply problem for yourself because that exactly is what is happening with most of the students. 
I'm not able to respond to the messages, but my Instagram is full of messages from students who are saying that they cannot sleep, they're having panic attacks, they're feeling anxious. If you are having those things, please talk to a psychiatrist. Uh, I wish I could help all of you, but you know, even I am very busy and I'm not able to respond to all these messages. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but if you're having clinical anxiety symptoms, please talk to a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Uh, you, you, you should take care of yourself as far as the mental health is concerned. But accepting things might, might give you some amount of uh, relief from all these things. So, so please, please stop getting angry. It's okay. It is happening with everybody. It is beyond everyone's control and, and the situation out there is out of control. Uh, the third thing that I want to talk about is, uh, yeah, so, so a large number of students are saying that they are finding it difficult to continue with the studies. And uh, of course, one can expect that to happen. Uh, it is not so easy to study without a date in mind. I, I would suggest you a couple of things. A uh, study is something that tends to follow a rhythm. When you are in that rhythm, everything is good. When you are in that rhythm, you must have observed it yourself. When you are having good days, when you are studying 10 hours, 11 hours, those good days tend to continue. And when you get stuck with bad days, it's, it's difficult to you know get out of that that uh, that rut. So, so studies tend to follow this rhythm. And during these periods of uncertainty, ensure that you are not losing your rhythm. First thing that I would suggest you is that continue to have a routine. Please, please wake up at the same time that, I use, that you used to get up in the past when you're preparing and try to go to the bed at the same time. At least ensure that you are getting up and going to bed at the same time. That would kind of give you at least some amount of routine uh, as far as your days are concerned. Second thing is, uh, accept that you would not be able to study as well uh, as you were studying in the past. When, when we have a date in our, uh, when, when you have a date to follow, when we know that this is the day when we are about to take exam, we tend to plan better and study better. Those things have been taken away from you. So it's okay. Try studying while realizing that it is slightly difficult. It is more difficult today to study than it was like two months back or one month back. And it's okay. Please, please do not compound your problems by yourself. Many students are, what they are doing is they are not able to study well and then they are, you know, they are, they are beating themselves up that I'm, I'm such a loser. I can't study. I cannot do anything. I'm such a loser. So when, when you get stuck into that, that thought process, you make it so much more worse for yourself. So accepting that you would not be able to study as well and still continuing to study is the best thing that you can do. But please continue to study. Even if you are doing some job, even if you are doing, if you have joined some hospital, Taking out few hours of study is not so difficult. That will at least ensure that you continue to have the touch with, with the preparation. Uh, you don't have to start afresh whenever the dates are announced. Uh, so, so please do that. Don't, don't lose the rhythm. And uh, in such circumstances, uh, it is better to study or to read the material that you most enjoy. Rather than forcing yourself to finish the subject that was left last time or that you were weak in. Uh, try doing something that you would really enjoy. In fact, uh, I'll give you my example. Uh, my parents, my mom and dad both were diagnosed with COVID and even for last one month, I have been having a, a difficult time. And now thankfully they have recovered to a great extent. And I was thinking of, you know, going back to work, making videos and you know, doing these things, but I could not, you know, gather enough energy, could not, could not feel like doing those things. So I thought, okay, let, let me start doing things that are very easy and that I would enjoy. So this, this conversation is a part of that, right? Uh, before working on something which is more difficult, I want to start with things that are easier. So this is how you start. But once once you have lost the rhythm, to get back into the rhythm, you have to start with easy things. Uh, and, and that is what I would suggest you to. Start with the subject, start with the material, start with the format that you find the easiest. If you want to watch a video or if you want to do a test series or if you want to go for a grand test, whatever you find the easiest is what you should be doing. Uh, last part of this talk is about the moral dilemma. Uh, many students are saying that uh, they feel guilty of you know staying back at home when the country needs them, and uh, they cannot decide whether joining the COVID duty is correct or whether staying back at home and studying is correct. And understandably so, this is this is a genuine moral dilemma. And students, unfortunately, nobody can give you an answer for that. Uh, only you can decide. Uh, what what uh, is the right thing for you? Uh, if if your conscience is telling you that uh, sitting at home when uh, when people need doctors uh, is the right thing to do, please do that. 
listen to what what your heart is telling you and if your heart is telling your mind is telling you uh, what my mind is telling you is that you have to study and once you uh, clear the examination you would be able to serve better or help people better even that is okay uh, i am nobody to judge you on what you are doing and i think you should not judge yourself either these things are very subjective uh, these things are dependent upon multiple factors and uh, what might be right for one person might be wrong for the other person so so rather than uh, looking for somebody to tell you what should be done i would suggest that do what your heart tells you what your mind tells you what what your conscience tells you so these were a couple of things that i wanted to talk about uh, in the end in uh, if i just want to you know uh, summarize it i'll i'll just say that uh, uh, the times are very strange times are very bad times are very unprecedented and while it is totally fine or perfect to be frustrated with what is happening uh, we must uh, not not uh, forget the bigger picture we must remember that uh, we are going through some unprecedented times and you cannot remain untouched if if the entire society around you is crumbling there is no way that your entrance examination and your uh, career would remain untouched i don't think it's even desirable you you are a part of a system and of course you must be getting affected by it so so times are tough but you are tougher you are medical students i mean you are the cream of the country you are you are the brainiest people out there and uh, you you have great capacity to, to mug up things to you know uh, do a lot of hard work to to uh, get selected to get good ranks uh, you are intelligent now is the time to uh, develop some emotional toughness too uh, you should be able to deal with difficult times you should be able to deal with uh, taxing times and not give up and uh, i i i feel that there is some kind of training happening for all of you young doctors uh, in your career you would be facing many situations where you would uh, be required to stay cool and calm in emotionally disturbing situations and this is one of the similar types uh, it, it is uh, an anxiety provoking situation but you are supposed to stay cool and calm and uh, do what you are supposed to do so it is it is training happening there is always a silver lining no matter what how bad things are and uh, probably probably you are getting a taste of of how life is and how world is at a younger age so uh, no not so bad good it, it is behavioral therapy happening with you so don't give up don't get too frustrated don't get too angry don't abuse too many people and it's okay uh, this too shall pass you know uh, bad times come uh, that's bad but they don't last that's good so all the best uh, continue studying if you are joining a hospital stay safe and uh, uh, hopefully all these things will end soon and uh, we'll get back to the normal life as we know it all the best god bless you